Warren Anderson, the CEO of Union Carbide, was arrested on his arrival in India, but in a matter of hours he got bail and was escorted out of Bhopal in a government aircraft. Why? We tried to ask Arjun Singh, the then Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh. We are still waiting for an answer. The way the government of India buckled under US pressure then is shocking. The way the government has failed to get Anderson extradited till date and the lame excuses that are being bandied about is even more shocking. Crime number 1104-84 Police station Hanuman Ganj, Bhopal Date December 3, 1984 Accused Warren Anderson, Chairman Union Carbide and 8 others Four days later on December 7, Warren Anderson was arrested at the Bhopal airport as soon as he arrived from the US. The charges against him were serious. Culpable homicide not amounting to murder. Word spread across the streets of Bhopal like wildfire. The man allegedly responsible for mass murder was in Bhopal. People were paying for his blood. Arjun Singh was the chief minister of Madhya Pradesh, Rajiv Gandhi the prime minister. The US embassy is learned to have mounted pressure on the central government. Not only was Anderson released on bail immediately, he was flown to Delhi in a special state government aircraft. Anderson signed a bail bond and promised that he will cooperate with investigations and return when summoned. A promise he had no intention of fulfilling. Well, I was the one who arrested Warren Anderson. And I was the one who kind of, you know, did whatever necessary, legally possible to do for, to him individually. Because I'm sure the government of India and the government of Madhya Pradesh are both making their efforts to be able to bring them to justice. Three years later, he was formally charged by the CBI with culpable homicide. Several summons sent to him were ignored. In 1998, an arrest warrant was issued and finally, Anderson was declared a proclaimed offender, a fugitive from justice. 25 years later, extradition efforts have been unsuccessful. Legal experts say the fault lies both with the government and the judiciary. It's only the soft Indian state which can live with an absconder in a friendly country. We need to put all pressure on wherever he is, even if he is not in the United States. We need to put all pressure to see that justice is done. In 2003, 19 years after the Bhopal tragedy, government of India finally moved the US government to have Warren Anderson extradited. In 2004, the US government turned down India's request. In August 2009, the chief judicial magistrate asked CBI the status of the extradition. In 2009, the CBI responded that they alerted the Ministry of External Affairs and the matter was now with them cry in Bhopal to hang Warren Anderson is deafening. They are cursing the government now for not bringing Warren Anderson somehow to this country so that he can face the trial here. And this deafening cry to hang Warren Anderson is clearly saying that whatever justice they have got today is not adequate. With cameraman Irshad Santosh Tiwari in Bhopal for headlines today.